Hi, Dale Truido here, TFS Advisors, Edmonds, Washington. On our website, we have a piece called Breaking Down the Bridge Period, What It Is and How to Master It. This is a topic about financial planning as you approach retirement that talks about the idea of when you retire versus when you start drawing on retirement assets. So let's talk about those for a minute. Retirement assets usually involve things like a 401k plan, possibly a pension plan, not always, um, Social Security, any other IRAs that you have, and then of course just regular savings um, that you have. And there's probably others as well, might be some retirement or some rental income, etc. But those have probably been coming in prior to your retirement. So the bridge period, and this piece is on our website. If you go to tfsadvisors.com, you can find it under resources. This bridge period is what do you do for income after you work, but before you start drawing on retirement assets. Now, one of the assets that people typically draw on right away or, or draw on eventually is Social Security. And Social Security can be taken anywhere between age 62 and um, if you're young enough, 67 to get maximum benefit, or excuse me, not maximum, but full retirement age benefits. Uh, the maximum benefit comes after age 70 when you actually get another bump up past your full retirement age. But I'm 63 right now, and my full retirement age is 66 in 10 months. So if you're younger than me, it'll be 67. And the question about when you start drawing on your Social Security uh, in you know income resource is a lot about health and other factors. So there's a lot to do to talk about that planning process with your financial advisor. Now, beyond that, um, if you are lucky enough to have a pension, you'll probably start drawing on that as you retire, which is great because there's probably no incentive to go beyond that. So then let's talk about the other resources. Um, the 401k plan, you can typically start drawing on after 55 without a penalty. Um, but most people will move that into their IRA um, for more control and various other reasons. Now, if it's in your IRA and you're younger than 59 and a half, it's thought that you can't get it without a penalty, but you can using a process called a 72T calculation. And 72T is a complicated uh, process to be used with your tax advisor and your financial advisor. Um, but that is possible to set aside some money, make it, you know, use it that way. Otherwise, you're probably drawing on your taxable assets, that account that's been taxed every year that has a high cost basis. And the benefit of doing that, of course, is low tax impact when you take the money out. So there's a lot to talk about here. There's a lot to unpack. Go to tfsadvisors.com and take a look at uh, the blog that we have on this particular topic. In the meantime, this is Dale Torito, TFS Advisors, Edmonds, Washington. Have a great day.